Hello, Leiden faculty. By now, I hope that you've heard that we have a brand new website in the works. Our tentative launch date is Thursday, October 1st, 2015. We're actually going to have three websites. There will be a district website, a West Leiden website, and an East Leiden website. A lot of work has been put in so far, but there's still a lot more to go. This project is still under construction. There's a lot to still build out and a lot of content to move over from the current website to the new site. Something that is new, however, is that by default, every faculty member will have his or her own section of the website. We are asking that on each faculty section you include some common elements. One of those is going to be an about the teacher page where you'll include your name, a photo is optional but certainly encouraged, a short bio, your email address, phone number, and then your degrees and certifications. If you are teaching in the classroom, we are also asking that you have a one page per course. And on each of those course pages, your syllabus should be embedded and your course calendar. This tutorial is designed to help you get started with filling out those required pieces of information. To begin with, though, let's talk terminology. I'm going to use the same terminology that the company that we're using, Schoolwires, uses when they train website editors. On each of the websites, you'll notice that across the top there is a channel bar. The channel bar includes all of the different channels of information. So for example, we have an About Us, Academics, Students, Parents, Athletics, Community, Employment channel. Underneath each channel are sections of the website in a drop-down list. Each section is comprised of multiple pages. So in this example, you can see that there's a Board of Education page, Meetings page, FAQ, Development Training, Organizational Chart, each separate pages with their own content. And once you get to the page level, pages are designed into apps of content. In this example, you can see three different types of apps. There's a content app that includes pictures, text, links. There's a links app or a quick links app, which is a nice organized menu of links to external resources. There's even a document viewer app that you can use to display an actual document instead of just link to it and ask the user to open it in a different way. There's lots and lots of different types of apps of content. These are your building blocks to develop your pages. A quick note, there are going to be some channels, sections, pages, and even apps of content that may be hidden from public view and only accessible to faculty and staff that log into the website. Your teacher sections, however, are meant to be public. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is visit leiden.schoolwires.com. Net. Once you get to Leiden.schoolwires.net, you'll need to sign into the website to get access to the hidden content that is only intended for viewing by Leiden faculty and staff, and to access your site manager, which is where you will do all of the editing of your sections of the website. So across the very top, find the little person icon or user icon. Click on that and choose Sign In. You'll use the same username and password that you use to log into your laptop or desktop. Once you're signed in, click on the little user icon again and then choose Site Manager. When your Site Manager opens, you're ready to start editing your sections of the website. 
If you have multiple sections to edit, you'll see them listed under the Site and Channels menu in the Navigation panel. I'm currently emulating Ms. Martiri. You can see that she has three different sections listed. Her own personal faculty section, a League of Legends club section, and a Class of 2018 section. This tutorial is only going to focus on the faculty section, and if that's the only one that you have to edit, you won't even see it listed here. You'll just be ready to edit your section. We've already populated every faculty section with four pages, an About the Teacher page, and three course pages. To begin with, please click on the About the Teacher page. You're going to be asked to enter your name, a biography, which I'm going to copy and paste from another document that Ms. Martiri has already shared with me. Before I paste, however, I'm going to turn on this Paste as Text tool so that I'm not going to get any of the formatting from the other document, and it will assume the formatting and font structure of our website. So there's the biography. I would like this part of the biography to be a link. So I'm going to highlight that, click the Insert Link tool, enter the web address, and I'm going to choose that this link opens in a new window, so it leaves the faculty page open. And then click OK. Below the biography is the place to upload your photo. Click Browse, Upload is selected by default, go out and find your picture. After hitting Continue, you can adjust the height and width if necessary, and then Insert Image. Then click on the Details tab, enter your email address, your phone number, and your degrees and certifications. Again, I'm going to copy and paste this from the document that Ms. Martiri shared with me, and then click Save. At the very top, you'll also see an area to view the website. When I'm in emulation mode, it doesn't show up after I save, so I'm going to go back to this little home, return to the My Page list, And there's the button to view your website in preview mode. So let's look about let's look at what I just entered. And this is how it comes across. We'd like this to be a nice standardized uniform intro to every faculty page. The name, the bio, the picture, phone, email, degrees and certifications. The next task is to set up each of your course pages. Again, we've given you three pages to start with. If you don't need all three because you only have two preps, you can easily choose the Actions menu and delete an entire page. If you have more than three preps, I'll show you later how you can add a new page. So for the first course, I'm going to first rename it because I don't want course one name information showing up on the website. So I'm going to choose the actions menu and go to page options. And the first course that I'm going to enter for Ms. Martiri is TSI. So I change the page name and hit save. Now I'm going to open TSI and you'll see that we've already pre-populated two content apps. One of them is a document viewer app for your syllabus. One of them is for embed code of your course calendar. For your course syllabus, click on that app and you're going to be asked which document you want to display. You're going to need to have your syllabus already in a PDF format which you can download from your Google Drive. I'm going to click Browse and then look for the document, 
here's the TSI syllabus click open and insert file then I'm going to click save I'm then going to go back to my TSI page so that I can enter the embed code for my course calendar I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy and paste the embed code that Ms. Martiri provided to me and hit save I can also click this view website to preview what it looks like so let's check out the TSI page there is the document viewer app showing the syllabus and there is the embed code app showing the TSI subject calendar at this point let me show you how to get the embed code for your subject calendars so if you go to your student account you know that's where all of your subject calendars live I've got a test class here the first thing you need to do is click on the drop down menu and go to share this calendar in order for your calendar to be viewed by the public you have to change the settings so under the share this calendar with others change it to make this calendar public and then click save now go back to your calendar settings and find the embed this calendar section you can either grab the embed code that's created by default or you can click customize the color size and other options you can change all of these different settings and once you get the embed code highlight it copy it come back to your site manager and paste the embed code into the embed code app for your course calendar so now I'm going to repeat this same process for the other courses so I'm going to click back to return to my page list I'm going to first rename course number two to co-op save that name click on co-op click on the course syllabus document viewer app browse to find the co-op syllabus and insert that file click save come back to the co-op page click the course calendar embed code app grab the embed code paste it in and save go back to my page list go to course number three page options rename this career internship save the new name click on career internship click on the course syllabus document viewer app find the appropriate syllabus and insert that file click save go back to the career internship page click on the course calendar embed code app grab the embed code and save when I return to my page list Miss Martiri needs a fourth page for a fourth course so what I'm going to do here is actually copy one of these existing pages and then just change the content so I'm going to take this career internship class go to actions and copy page that way I get the same setup with the same apps notice it puts it at the top so the first thing I need to do is rename it
this one is going to be called entrepreneurship save that new name click on entrepreneurship click on the course syllabus it's already got the syllabus from the course that I copied from so I just have to browse and change that to the correct syllabus insert file save go back to the page click on the calendar grab the correct embed code delete what was there for the previous post in the paste in the new and save so now when I return back to my page list the only other thing I need to do is reorder these so the about the teacher page shows up first towards the top of the window you see a button that says organize pages you can either sort them alphabetically or you can drag and drop them and reorder them you also have the opportunity to nest pages under other pages to create menus that's if you're going to be adding additional pages to your section I'm going to save this new organization and let's preview what her faculty section looks like so now we've got the about the teacher page we've got a page for each course that has the syllabus and calendar for TSI the syllabus and calendar for co-op the syllabus and calendar for career internship and the syllabus and calendar for entrepreneurship at this point that's all we're asking for you to add to your faculty section if you would like to start adding additional pages you can click new page and start adding more that'll be in another tutorial for how to create a page from scratch set up the layout add your own apps and add your own content I hope this has been helpful and I hope this gets you started with building your faculty section of the website.